Hi, welcome back to the K4 channel. My name is Chad. And today I'm going to show you why taking CPP at 65 is the worst possible option. Let's get into it. All right, so I know that that sounds crazy because CPP is designed off of your age 65, but hear me out. Uh, recently, I started putting together a few tools that we're going to have available to our clients in the future. And one of them is a CPP comparison tool. And I'm going to show it to you in a second and I'm going to go through my process and how I actually built it. But essentially what it does is it shows all the different potential start dates you have, or at least all 11 of your birthdays that you can start it on. I don't show every single month. And then I just figured out how much cumulative income could you actually get from CPP? And that's what I'm using as my, my test, which gives me the most cumulative income at what time period. All right, so we have to start with what information we actually wanted to put into this spreadsheet. So what I did was I based it on your birthdays. And yes, I'm aware you can take CPP in between those times, but I don't want the spreadsheet to be overwhelming. Trust me, it gets overwhelming enough. So we have your 60th birthday here, we have your 70th birthday here, and at 65, I assume you can get $1,000 per month of CPP. Um, once this tool is available to our clients or once we're going through it with our clients, we can change that to whatever value actually applies. And the advantage or disadvantage going out to the side is all percentage-based anyway. So whether it's 1,000 here or even 2,000, which doesn't exist, it doesn't really matter what the, the number is in there. Uh, so I have all those different birthdays in there and the percentages to go out. And so just to make sure we're on the same page, for every month you take CPP before your 65th birthday, you are penalized 0.6% uh, per month or 7.2% uh, per year that you take it before. Uh, on the flip side, every month that you delay beyond your 65th, you're rewarded 0.7% per month or 8.4% per year. So just a raw comparison, and inflation is not factored into this, because uh, again, it's percentage based, so for the most part, it'll wash out in the math anyways. But uh, uh, for the $1,000 comparison here, if you took it at 60, you're getting 64%, 36% less, or 640 per month instead of 1,000. And at 70, you get a 42% bump, up to $1,420 per month. That's the impact. All right, so from there, I have to start figuring out cumulative income. So again, it's always based on your birthday. Uh, so one year into taking CPP, if you started at 60, at $640 per month, you've received $7,680. From there, I have to fill in the cumulative income for everybody. And I'll warn you now, this gets overwhelming. So here it is, and we've got a myriad of different numbers here. It's very overwhelming, there's too much here. So I have to take it one step further by highlighting the best possible option. And let me give you an example. Obviously, if you know that age 61 is, on your birthday at 61 is when you're gonna die, the best option in terms of the most amount of money you're gonna get is to start at 60. Compared to zero, 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 all the way across, that's the most cumulative income that you could have received. So where is that cumulative max on each column? That's the next step. So let's take that last step. Here I've highlighted the highest cumulative income per birthday year going across in each column. And what I honestly did not know until I built this spreadsheet is that there is no point in time where taking CPP at 65 provides the most, the top most cumulative income for you. By the time it catches up to starting at age 64, age 66 has also caught up and surpassed age 65, meaning that taking it at 65 is literally never the best option, but it's what everything is based on. So what's important to note here is you've heard us talk about delaying CPP to 70 and in 95 at least percent of the plans that I do, that is my recommendation. I think it just, it shores up your most reliable sources of income so much. I, I love the idea of waiting on CPP and yet I know that less than 1% of you do that. But you may have already noticed this as I scroll back and forth. We often talk about the break even point being around age 82 or 83 and this column does not get highlighted until age 86. So when we're talking about break even, we're always comparing to age 65. 
So if I back up to age 82 or 83 and compare it here, age 70, 204,480 versus 204,000. So that's when we're talking break even, we're comparing 60 to 70, not every other option. The true best option for, for 70 doesn't actually come into play until you're 86. Life expectancies these days, modern medicine, I think 86 is a very reasonable number to plan to. And the amount of stress that having a heightened uh, CPP takes off of your investments in your 70s and 80s, I think is always, almost always, worth doing. So if this is something you'd like to see for your situation, you'd like us to go through this and do a comparison of CPP for you and your particular scenario, our info will be below because it sounds like it's time for your $500 financial plan. Until next time, keep planning. Take care. Thank you.